Hello and hey there, everybody. Hope everyone is doing all right and well out there. Enjoying your day. This live stream currently on Twitch and approximately just one minute before 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is Dirty Gamer here with the video, and it's going to be for the Fortnite New Live Item Shop update refresh for today, December 15th, 2022. And also, I'm going to do a Winterfest uh, lounge uh, present opening as well so you can see what uh i got all right so let's just get uh we're almost down to the clock here but i do want to uh thanks to all my subscribers and followers and make sure that you uh try to completely view my videos like up thumbs up my videos as well and have those bell notifications turned on and for those new to my channel and uh new viewers kindly subscribe which is for free on youtube and also kindly throw me a follow on Twitch, also free. And I appreciate you all very much for doing that. All right. So let's just do a quick shift and shift back forward to make sure we got everything in item shop. Okay, so here we go. On the feature tab, uh, we have the build up emote for 500 V-Bucks. <laughs> Oh, okay. I've seen that one before. So that's the build up one by Bella. Okay. That sounds actually kind of okay. And then the Jam Junction bundle, four item bundle for 1700 V Bucks, 600 V Bucks off if bought individually. I've seen this one before. Yeah, she kind of looks like. So she has two styles. This is the Bell Berry. And then she has an option of glasses on or off. So this is kind of like a the strawberry looking outfit, as you can see, red, white, and even the hair. Well, actually, I should be more specific, pink, more like a pink. I don't know why I said red for a minute there. I guess there's a little trace of red, and then the eyes, too, have hearts, and then the glasses as well. But uh, and then the red shoe, pink shoes, and she kind of has like aqua stockings for that. Okay, and then the second look is bittersweet. And this is more kind of like grape colored, I guess, because it has like more of a purple tinge with black. And then the stockings are more purple and the shoes are black. And that's the off. So glasses on, glasses off. And then the two actual styles are just color palette swaps, though. And then the back bling, uh, there's a first one for the Rosenberry. So this is obviously the berry one here. Cool glasses. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's reactive or animated. And then this is the same exact one, except just a color palette swap to the bittersweet one. Purple. Interestingly, the character is, says it's reactive. I'm curious, because it doesn't say what the reactivity is for the character itself. I'm curious why they wouldn't say that. And then for the harvesting tool, here's the maceberry mauler. Again, kind of like a strawberry dangling off of kind of like a mace. Oh, that's cool. It makes a heart-like kind of effect. And then this second one, the Sour Berry Slammer. Just a color palette swap and the exact same heart. Just purple. Okay. And then finally you get the Berry Sweet Uncommon Wrap. Curiously, no selectable style here, yet everything else had two options. Once again, I always can... Fine when they do not do thorough. This should have two styles as well. This strawberry one, and they should have the second one should be grape. Doesn't make sense. It says it is reactive. The thing is, though, it doesn't let me shoot the gun, so I'm curious what the reactivity for this gun is as well. So, curiously, the gun's reactive, but they won't let me shoot it. And this outfit's reactive, but they don't say why. All that is 1,700 V-Bucks for those four items. Individually, the outfit's 1200, the tool 800, the wrap 300 V bucks. Okay, and to the next page here, we have the Grimoire or Grimoire outfit for 1500 V bucks. I think I've seen this one before as well. Yeah, I have. So, this is a default style, majority black, red accents, eyes kind of look like a Almost like a pale skull with makeup, like kind of dripping, almost like tears, tears that drop dripping off. And white hair. And a 
pants are a little off. Does that say soul on the belt? S O U L. Yeah, it's for some reason I don't know why it's blocked by uh, like the wrap in front of it. Gas mask on the side. It looks like. And then the red and black shoes. Interesting. And if you look, there's like a like a counter. Interesting. I don't know if that's supposed to mean kills or something like that, but it doesn't say. Then like a noid on the neck. Odd. And then you have an option of a hoodie. Does it make it that different? Actually, it does. It's basically like an over, like a hoodie. Yeah. So basically the hoodie's pulled up and you actually see a little more. See that? That's a nice shine. The right side of this hoodie here. Yeah, pulled up for some reason, but they give you actually more clothing. And then there's a cool little skull logo it's, you can kind of make out when you tilt it. It's like a skull face logo on the back. This looks actually not bad. I actually like this look. They could have did more with the pants, though, because it seems like she's missing. Material is missing. It's like cut off short and tattered. Doesn't look correct to me. And then the second one, we have the bone white. So this is going to be more like a matte, like white, like almost silverish sort of. And then red accents. But it's basically a color palette swap because everything else is the same. The outfit's exactly the same. This kind of gives me a little Gears of War vibe with the, the crimp, that logo. Kind of reminds me of the Crimson Almond. It's not bad. But yeah, I definitely prefer, I prefer the hoodie over and the... Let me see. Both colors are okay. For some reason I kind of have, I think I like the white and red one a little bit more. And then you got a hollow skull back bling, which is just a skull holographic, but it's purple and it's not really on the back. As you can see, it's hanging a little bit, but that's 1500 V-Bucks. Unfortunately, if you want that harvesting tool, it is separate. Clearly looks like it goes with them, but... That's an okay zappy sound. 800 V-Bucks. I just want to make sure. Yep, part of the Forsaken set. So this should have been together. Already can tell by that descriptor. The Raptor outfit for 2,000 V-Bucks? Really? We consider this legendary? So it's just kind of a base character. Yellow, yellow kind of like snow mask or vakova, whatever you want to term it. Then yellow gloves. And kind of like an aviator sort of like jacket. Leather bomber type shotgun shells, kind of basic pants, grenades, and boots on there. And then the glow one, yeah, the glow one looks a little better. It's got purple eyes, and that mask kind of almost looks like a mouth. Yeah, this does not have that. So, purple eyes, purple mouth, and then purple headgear looks like. Yeah. And then the rest of the outfit is black mixed with red with a slight bit of purple glow, but it's very slight. They could have used a lot more glow on this outfit, on this fit. Could have been more potential here. The Raptor Satchel back bling to me is very boring, and there's no alternate style. There should have been a second style. Again, always consistent. For however many styles there are, or as an outfit, should be the corresponding number of styles for their accessories. I always find these inconsistencies, and to me, they don't really incite for purchases because of that. So Epic Game Store, hopefully listening to that, Something very inconsistent I noticed through various items in the item shop. 2,000 V-Bucks for that. Then the Velocity outfit looks like the female equivalent to this. Yep. So same color scheme has the other one. I'm going to get your yellow. Kind of like brownish. And then just basic basic pants here and the combat boots. And secondary one seems to have less glow to me. But what's interesting is this one's mouth is more animated. Almost looks like a radio wave. Interesting. Uh, majority purple and then more black. A little bit of silver. Does that say false? I think that says false on the jacket. That's interesting. Does the first one say true? No. I don't get that. Called Flightmare. And then purple gloves and black jeans and then little purple accents on the belt, utility belt. I'm just curious. When, well, I'm going to go back to the first one because why would that say false if there's no true? Odd. See, I pick up on these little things. It's almost like they're mi mixed messages, and it's not consistent as well. So there's the back bling, the bomber bag, just a, another kind of boring, basic back bling here. Canteen, 
Brown, Tan, nothing much here. These are both considered legendary, hence they're what I consider premium price tag, 2,000 V-Bucks. And if you want the Bomber, you have to pay separate for that. That's 1,200 V-Bucks with Glider. Um, 1,200 V-Bucks for that. Uh, party Animal Harvesting Tool for 1,500? It definitely sounds like a can hitting, making contact. The thing is, I expected a little more splash for 1,500 V-Bucks. It's slightly animated, as you can tell. Like, the slurp barrel kind of has almost like a drain, as you can see, towards the handle. An interesting look. And now we're on to a theory outfit for 1,200 V-Bucks. I've seen this one before, too. There's a lot of repeats, I'm noticing. And they have a lot more items that they could put in the store. Um, so this is Etheria. Kind of a cool look. You see, like, the veins almost have, like, a smoky look to them. And you can see the hands have, like, embers of smoke as well. This looks very familiar to multiple characters I've seen. One would be an ice one, I think I've seen. Probably one of those sets. And then also, if you see on the legs, too, they do have a glow. So this is subtly animated on the arms and legs. Um, white eyes. The thing is, has horns, but they could have did a lot more with the rest of the outfit. And then this is the enchanting look. So this is more green. Eyes are a little yellow. And you get kind of like, almost like a green-yellow embers coming from the hands. And then you get some shiny green iridescence when you move the outfit. This actually is a little bit better looking. And the hair actually has some tone on the end here too, if you look at that color change. Interesting. Are they both have elf ears? Trying to figure out they both. Yeah, they do. And then you get the crystal spirit back bling. But again, this back bling should have had the two selectable styles to coordinate with the two styles for the outfit. Again, inconsistency. And this crystal spirit is hanging. It's not really on the back. It's floating. So. And that's 1,200 V-Bucks for that. You want the harvesting tool? It's separate. It's 800 V-Bucks for this. Mm, it's a little bit tinny on the reverb. The contact's also really weak. 800 V-Bucks for that. It's an interesting look with that crystal and like that ember inside of it. But that's about it. The Oppressor outfit, which I swore I've just seen this. I swore this was just in the shop. Um, 2,000 V-Bucks for this. I think this was just here. So this has like an animation on the arms, you can see, and a little bit around the waist. Mask, interesting, subtly animated as well. So majority black and red for the color scheme for this. Kind of a Transformers type vibe, a robot. And then the blue one. Same type of deal. But again, this was just here. Exo Spine. Now, unlike how many of these other outfits, this actually has two styles, which is what it should have. Two styles should be two corresponding for each other item. So this is the spine. It actually is attached to the back. So you can see here on the side. And then the blue. 2,000 V-Bucks for that. If you want the harvesting tool and the wrap, however, you will have to pay separate. This should have been bundled, but it's not. Plasmatic Edge Harvesting Tool. There's actually two styles for this, though. Which is what it should be. It's a little zappy. That's a cool zap, though. It's a bit light, but the effect might make up for it. And then this is the blue. Would have liked a little more blue on the tool. They make the same exact sound. So, Andrew V Bucks. The angle fire wrap is 500 V Bucks. An interesting look. Again. Very subtly animated, just going to go from the front all the way to the rear of our weapon. No reactivity, however. Celeste outfit for 1200 This looks familiar looking to me a little. Stars around her buns and her hair. Uh, I guess that's kind of a fishnet sh with like a t-shirt mixed in. And just jeans and a star emblem on the shirt and the buckle. Otherwise, very basic looking character. The spectral star backling is 
just a star with like a ribbon kind of hanging on the end of it. 1200 V bucks for that. If you want the tool, it's separate. It's 800 V bucks. Clearly goes with that character. Um, it almost has like a guitar riff reverb. Interesting. 800 V bucks for that. And onto the daily tab, we have the Spartan Assassin outfit for 800 V bucks here. So yep, definitely Assassin vibe. Combined kind of like with a Commando as well. The rest of it, it's interesting. The the face and mat, the mask actually looks like one part, and then the rest of the body kind of looks just like your regular kind of a Commando. I don't know, but they call it Spartan Assassin, so be it. So just kind of get your basic uh, armor plating here, shotgun shells. I can't really read if that's supposed to be a word or not. It looks like gibberish to me on that arm. And then commando gear, you know, digitized camo, pants, and armor. The armor's better than your typical armor plating on the, on the knees and legs. A little better than that, but 800 V-Bucks for that. The survival specialist outfit for 1,200, and there's no selectable style? To me, it's just like your base character with a target hat. I've seen this before. And then a skull-faced emblem on the, the tank top. Yep, tattoo on the right. Yeah, I've seen this type of character on so many of these. Digitized camo pants, black combat boots. Very basic for 1,200 V-Bucks. It's a vibe emo for 300. It's just going to keep looping to that. Yeah, could have been some value there if they would have mixed it up. Plunge a harvesting tool for 800. I've seen this before. It's a plunger with a sword through the top of it. A very weak sound. If anything, it sounds more like a plunger hitting it than a sword. Yeah, like a plunger pop. So they got that part. Hmm, the prismatic edge wrap for 500. Interesting. It says it's animated. However, the animation is so subtle. If you're not paying attention, you can see the animation if you look more. It, it, com it comes from the bottom, then it goes up. And then on the top of the weapon, I guess it goes a little bit more from the top. Okay, so you know what? The animation is a little bit, it's, it's not as subtle as I once thought as I see it through here. But a majority of it's towards, it does go like a couple of different directions. Part of it's going forward and part of it's going back if you pay attention. And there is some nice iridescence as I move the weapon. So this wrap might be a sneaky, sneaky get here. You don't pay attention to it. And there is some multiple colors. Uh, obviously, majority, you can see, it does change its color palette as well on the fly gradually. You know what? This isn't bad. Um, have a CMO for 200. I think I've seen this one a lot. And the Master Puffus emote, which is surprisingly still here. I think we might have reached the repeat portion of this item shop. Uh, Mr. Beast bundle, still here. Page two. Old bundle, still here. Future War bundle. This is season, page one. Two. Three. Four. So just be aware that Tizza Scene Bundle has been rotating a few items in and out. So pay attention to those. Um, I have not seen this Black Ice Legends one, but this item shop has been going off and on. Well, I'll get one set of items, and this is a different one. So I'll take a look at it. It seems to include a bit of things here. So let's take a look at the items closely. Okay, so Icebound Midas, so it's basically just an ice version of this Midas character. Frozen Touch, with the Icebound Midas outfit, apply a frozen wrap to any equipped wet weapon? Uh, interesting. I'll have to look further into that because I'm curious, is the wrap here? Oh, odd. So they say apply a frozen wrap to any equipped weapon. So I guess that means the wrap is going to look like Midas. Pretty lacking in detail, but I kind of have to go on a mark there because their detail is pretty meager. All right, so that's Midas. No, again, 
Just a frozen looking kind of base character to me. Cold dagger pack. So I guess the dagger and like a satchel or bag for us. I do like the little sparkles on the side of the bag. That actually looks okay. It's very subtle though. They could have did a lot more already with these two. Uh, cold in touch harvesting tool. Mm. It's only an okay contact. I figured it'd be a lot heavier sounding than it is. But I do like the frost and the sparkle toward the top of this axe. Kind of nice. Permafrost Raider. So again, your kind of Raider character. Just frozen and with her eyes. So that's the one thing I gotta mention. Yes, it does have glow of the glow eyes, the frosty eyes, I guess you want to call it. Um in terms of the rest. Not much here. Pretty similar to the first character. Froze bud. So it's a frozen flower. I feel like these back blings have more going for them than these character outfits, which doesn't make sense. They should have applied the same kind of frost and sparkle that they applied to these back blings to the characters. Would have been a lot more in sight to get. Then we have the glacial slasher tool. Sounds a little bit better than the previous one. And also, if you see, it does have that hint of frost and that sparkle and shimmer towards the top. Something they could have did with the outfits. I don't know why they did not. And then this is an ice crystal, which looks sort of like the bell, Isabel, that I have. The Harry Potter glasses, blue eyes. But again, doesn't have that sparkle or frost that these back blings or tools have, which is very curious of a decision. The glacial back plate. This is a pretty boring looking back bling. And unfortunately, unlike the other back blings, there's no sparkle of frost. It's also hanging off her, not really on the back. The ice carver harvesting tool. See, this has sparkles in that bit of frost. Tinny. The backswing sounds better than the contact and the ice bound wing glider. Kind of a basic glider as well. There's like nothing sparkly or frosty off that. All that for 2,500 V-Bucks? Hmm. I think that's going to do it. And then the battle pass levels. So, okay. In terms of what uh, I would deem personal highlights, in my humble opinion, um, since they're rotating these to the season ones, you might want to be aware. I would recommend these two, which I already have and have looked before. Can look previously if you want to look into that further. Um, the Future War Bundle, yes, a Hulk Bundle. Uh, Mr. B6000 does have an interesting look to it. This Prismatic Edge, I'm, I'm, I'm actually somewhat interested in for that as well. And yeah, that looks like that's going to do it for that item shop part of the program here. So what I'm going to do now is uh as a promise in the beginning i'm gonna do an i got i'm gonna visit the lounge and take a look the winter fest the lodge here excuse me and we're gonna take a visit visit into it and see what the present is for this opening for today so this is day three as you can see uh towards the top of this day open one present now what i noticed today is i don't see that character that usually lays on the floor and i am missing a pizza still so what I'm gonna do, well, let me go to the left here. Oh, actually the character moved. No pizza here though. I will just press that. I'm gonna open the fridge, there's pizza in there. No pizza in here. Hmm. And there's no, the second pizza I found was, ne was next to this fridge. It's not here today, which is odd. All right, so let me back out. I'm going to go to the right, see if... Well, actually, let me do this first. Make sure you get this XP. There you go. Only 100, which is weak. All right. And I'm going to go to the right now. There's the slice. There it is. So there's the third pizza slice. For those of you, there's actually a uh, quest. So I'm going to claim it and get this quest, the pizza slice, as you can see, is to the right of these presents and to the right of this bell, right on that speaker. All right. So with that 16,000 XP, I do level up.
and I will take those five battle stars with me. All right, so now let's take a look in terms of the gifts. Um, this is a tall one. So I have four, one, two, three, four left to open on the right. Did it me or did this? Wow, this glitched out. All right, so it looks like it glitched out. So I'm always fine like these glitches people don't. So after I open this pack, I don't know if it's going to let me, if it'll get me out. So I'm going to have to, I'm forced to open this one. Okay, I can back out here. Weird. So as you saw there, it glitched out. It would not let me pick that. So I think it had to do with the pizza, just the FYI. But again, I find a lot of glitches in this game. The season. So that's four gifts there. Here I have one, two, three, four, seven here. So I think I'll go Sergeant Winter. Interesting. There's actually names on this. So, Crackabella, Sergeant Winter. I'm going to go for the Sergeant Winter one. Why not? Let me just shake it a bit, even though it doesn't really tell me what it is. All right, then I open it. Got to hold it a long while. Let's see what it is. Oh, cool. I got another glider. This glider is a very traditional basic glider, though, but it does have, it looks like, uh, I can't tell if that's a Santa face on it or not, but what I will do is I will equip it so we can take a look and see what it looks like. It's har har har. All right, so now I'm going to back out of this. Hopefully it won't glitch out on me. Okay, good. I'm going to go to a locker and we'll take a look to see at this new glider I got, this har har har. Okay, so there's a little trail as you see towards from the, the top of that glider that's coming out. But yeah, it's a basic glider, but it's cool. Hey, it's free, so for what it is, um, you know, not bad. So that was the 33 for me for claiming that Winterfist gift. And uh, we just finished that item shop before. So yeah, this has been Dirty Gamer here um, for the uh, Fortnite New Live Item Shop Update Refresh for today, December 15th, 2022. And opening that winter uh, Winterfest Lounge gift uh, present there for today. Uh, so just let me know if you're interested, what you think, or if you're intending on purchasing anything from today's uh, update refresh and what gift you got. You can answer by dropping a comment on the video. Liking up the video would be very much appreciated. Help me out a lot. Um, comment, subscribe, which is for free. Uh, view and share my video for my YouTube channel, uh, Dirty with two R's, Gamer. And have those bell notifications turned on. And I also do live stream on Twitch, which is what I'm doing here. And please throw, kindly throw me a follow there as well, also free. And join me in my live streams at the username Dirty with two R's underscore gamer. And for super thanks, I would appreciate donations via my link to support my gaming, costs, streams, and content creation. All right. Later and get your game on.